I've had honeybees for seven years now, and I've had several friends that got involved with honeybees the same time I did, and I've I come across lots of people that come that have had honeybees, and they've all lost their honeybees. They've died. I'm the only person I know that has continuously had honeybees for seven years and does not take bees south. See, this is Michigan. It's very cold during the winter. I've been through two polar vortex winters with record amounts of ice on the Great Lakes. So this is my advice to you. Before you buy honeybees, if you don't currently have honeybees, you want to do your research. Because 80% of the colonies in the U.S. end up in the almonds in California. And then from the almonds, they go to other orchards. Now, the almond orchards are owned by the rich people. And the rich people look out for each other. For other rich people, they protect the chemical companies and everything else. They're not going to say anything bad about the chemical corporations. And I've parted ways with several beekeepers, commercial beekeepers, I try to suggest to them, don't go to the almonds anymore. Boycott the almonds. Because they whine and cry about the chemicals being used by crop farmers. Well, if you're, if you're complaining, do something about it instead of just complaining. But no, they keep going to the almonds every single winter. So I don't associate with commercial beekeepers. See, commercial beekeepers, they have heavy losses. You know, if you do a Google, Google search... You'll see some of them lost half their bees. Last winter, the winter of 2018-2019, there was a 41% colony loss. The worst it's been since 2006. And most of those are the experienced commercial beekeepers. They like to brag about how much experience they have, but they also have heavy losses. And they have heavy expenses, too. See... Large-scale commercial beekeepers, they get first choice for the new queens made in the United States. Personally, I do not believe there are enough new queens for everybody. So what's happening is the large commercial beekeepers are getting rid of the last year's queen, putting them in packages, and they get first choice of the new queens. Now think about it. I'm a businessman. you got to care about your Customers that you do your most business with, they'll be first on your list, not somebody that's going to buy one queen. The people that buy several hundreds, thousands of queens are going to be the first ones to get them. And they won't mark them. And then the, the following year, they'll mark them for the new colors, making you think they're a new queen. This is a big secret. I don't have official proof of this, but I've looked at the numbers. I think that's what's going on. So be careful. Before you buy a package of honeybees or a nuke, do your research. Find out where those bees were. Because there's information on the internet, on Google, and on YouTube. These commercial beekeepers know that going to the almonds in California and other orchards after that is harmful to their bees. And their bees may not die right away, but they'll die later throughout the summer. So that's why they're selling these old bees that have been pollinating and exposed to all these chemicals or sell them to you. And if you don't have a healthy if you don't have healthy bees going into summer, they're not gonna get enough honey during the summer to make it through winter. And then your bees die during the winter. And they all say it's because you don't know what you're doing. Your lack of experience. I've heard it many times before. It's uh, honey bees that are doing the commercial pollinating and are not healthy. You want to buy Packages of nukes from the 20% of the colonies that aren't used for commercial pollinating. You need to do your research. I just want to make a, a little statement here. I, I'm, I live in a country, I grew up in a country, and it's been my experience that barnyards are full of shit. Now think about that for a little bit. I won't say any more. And I'm going to say, the further north you are, the longer winter is and the harder it is to keep honeybees. This winter here has actually been the easiest winter of the seven winters that I've gone through. It's been a real easy winter on my honeybees. I've had like a couple weeks of cold weather and then a weekend or maybe a week of nice warm weather. I've been able to bring them outside. 
And I just want you to know what motivates me. It's not money. It's those people that ripped me off over the last few years. I want to get even with them. So I don't like people that rip other people off. It's one of my pet peeves. And I want you to be careful where you're getting your beekeeping advice from. The person you're getting your advice from, does he or she sell anything related to beekeeping? And I also, I hate rich people and I hate the government. I hate the fact that the government's tied to the corporations that are killing us and our honeybees. I've got some good beekeeping documentaries on YouTube that I've seen that I want you to know about. The Power of Honey, Nicotine Bees, Keep the Hives Alive, Vanishing of the Bees. Also, do a Google search of sentences or words relating to almond pollination effects on honeybees, honeybee losses, neonicotinoids, fungicides, glycophosphates, also known as Roundup. I want you to do a Google search. There's things on the internet you need to know about. The information is there. You just need to take the time to look for it. What we need more small scale beekeepers keeping honeybees naturally. This is my favorite book, Natural Beekeeping by Ross Conrad. Best book I own. So we need more small scale beekeepers. Talk to your neighbors, get them involved in beekeeping, and tell them how to do it naturally. After you have a few years' experience, you can share it with other people. And also, we need no more crop farmers spraying chemicals, killing the planet. Not only are they killing honeybees, I had experience last May with a farmer 150 yards south of me that was out planting corn, spraying on a windy day. The wind was coming from that direction. It was blowing right into my hives that were sitting out here. And then within an hour or two after I saw him out there, my bees were dying. So I contacted the state of Michigan, and they rushed right out here, and they took samples. And a month later, they told me, yes, your bees have neonicotinoids. And then two months later, I got a letter from the state of Michigan saying the farmer did nothing wrong. No, that's complete bullshit. What the hell am I supposed to do? Move somewhere else? Where the hell can I move in the United States and be away from these crop farmers? This is my property. I shouldn't have to put up with their chemicals being on my property. That's just complete bullshit. And for the government to back that up pisses me off. I want a revolution in this country. I'm trying to inform people about the corruption of our government. Our government's bought off by the corporations. I'm not motivated by selling bees to people on the internet. I'm motivated by what's going on in my neighborhood and my property here. I'm getting sick of it. And the other thing that irritates me is the bee industry. They need to care more about the health of honeybees rather than making money. Now, Better Bee told me that I should rotate my mite treatments. And then I explained, well, how do I know what treatment the commercial beekeeper used that brings his bees back every June full of mites from the almonds of California? And she didn't have an answer for that. I can get rid of the mites in my colonies, and I'm going to tell you how I did it. And not have any mites the following spring. But come June when that commercial beekeeper gets in my area. And my bees, my, my queens breed with his drones. And my bees are on the same flowers his bees are on. That's when they get the mites. And they build up all summer long in my colonies. Now if we did a better quarantine where we didn't take bees across the country. It wouldn't be such a big issue. So these, co these companies are selling these products. Like Better Bee wanted me to try other mite treatments. They're making money off that crap. And I saw something on an article. The Guardian had an article from January, uh, January 8th, 2020, about a beekeeper, a commercial beekeeper. He's explaining all his expenses and keeping his bees alive and how many losses he had from taking his bees out to the almonds. Now, Honeybees don't make enough honey. We consume more honey yearly than the honeybees can make. So how is it that the price of honey is so low in the store 
because of this honey that comes from China. Because it's adulterated. It's fake honey. Now, if our government gave a shit about us, they'd stop importing that crap, and everything you bought at the stores would be pure American honey. But no. It's all about making money. The corporations that own the stores import all these products from foreign countries. It's all about making money. They don't give a shit about us. When are you guys going to figure that out? See, the bee industry doesn't give a shit about your honeybees. And then let me tell you a few things here. This is the best thing to use to control varroa mites. It works. It kills varroa mites. This product here from Not Apiary, a company in Canada, Formic Pro Formic Acid, does not kill varroa mites. Trust me, it does not kill varroa mites. You need to see my other videos. Now, I'm not here to make money. I'm not ever going to commercialize my videos, put advertisements in them. I want everybody to know. I want the bees to be healthy. And then if you buy, if you buy a certain genetic line of bees, and you got to buy queens, or you got to buy bees yearly, or queens. Now, this is this box here is made by Man Lake. It says keep well ventilated. It's only got two screens on it. If you're shipping queens during the summer, they get hot. They may not die right away. They'll die a few days later, and you still have to pay for them. I had an order, two orders from Foley's Russian Bees. He screwed me over. The first order came earlier in the summer. It wasn't so hot, but the second order, it was hot. Of 26 queens in this box, six of them never made it out of the cage. And the rest of them died the following days. Within a week to two weeks after I put those queens in there, I had nothing but queen cells. Man Lake will not ship queens because they know their product. They make this box. They know it's flawed. See, it's when it says air vents do not block, and you put your bees, your workers in there, loose, instead of putting them into cages, like Jason Foley did, and he said that all queen dealers do that, the bees get hot, and they want to get out, and they block the screens, causing the box to get even hotter, and that damages the health of the queens. Now, the reason why my bees are in here is because last September I used this product for the second time. I used it in 2018. I didn't have any trouble, but 2019... It did not work. The month of October, I had my bees dying. And I assumed this product worked. I used it in the month of September. But then I quickly switched to this in November. And it killed all the varroa mites. And therefore, I was able to save my colonies, but they're inside. And I'm having to make sure they don't get too hot. It's not good for the health of bees to get hot. See, this colony here, they're calm now because it's morning. But come afternoon and they see that sun, I don't keep my bees in the dark. I want them to know the day's gone by. I want them to know the spring's getting closer. So therefore, they need to see the sun every day. But I don't want them getting hot. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pulling this window down here, opening up the screen. These bees heat this room all by themselves. It's actually, they make it too warm. So I have to open it and I have a screen here to let the cold air in and I run a fan to circulate that cool air throughout my hives. So I know about heat. Heat is not good for honeybees. And if you buy queens through the mail, UPS or whatever, and they get hot, it damages the health of your queen. So you're better off breeding your own queens. You're better off not getting involved with buying bees at all through the mail or UPS. And if you want to buy a package because you don't have any honeybees, do your research first. Just to make sure you're getting bees that didn't do any commercial pollinating because they're not healthy. They may appear healthy when you get them, but trust me, they're not healthy and they will not do good during the summer. They will not put in enough honey in the hive. The queen will not be a good layer. She will not do a good job making winter bees and your colony will die during the winter, even if you get out the varroa mites. Okay, thank you.